This is Sean here with Monkey Toss TV. We're talking with Clint with uh, Darksiders. Clint, uh, for our, some of our fans who may not know, could you give us a little uh, quick summary of the plot of Darksiders? So you play as War, who's one of the horsemen of the apocalypse, right. and uh, basically uh, you appear on Earth in the middle of a big battle between heaven and hell. Um, the apocalypse is happening, but uh, you're the only horseman that has shown up to the party. And uh, basically everyone blames you because you're the only horseman that's there. And uh, so you're um, pulled back to this uh, group called the Chart Council who governs the balance between heaven and hell. And they basically tell you, you know what, you need to go back and clean up your mess. And uh, if you're saying, you know, that you were actually framed, go prove it and, uh, and clear your name. So you get sent back to Earth 100 years after the apocalypse. Everything is dead, everyone is dead, and there's a bunch of demons running the show. Um, there's some angels that uh, have been shut out from heaven, so they're not too happy to see you either. So basically everybody hates you. Oh, awesome. Um, and this is, uh, what sort of apocalypse is this? Is this like the, uh, I heard it was sort of like a Christian apocalypse from like the book of Revelation, that sort of thing? So it's definitely a, uh, you know, it's not the nuclear apocalypse. It is the biblical scale apocalypse. I mean, this is, um, you know, heaven and hell battling it out um, for supremacy. And in this case, it didn't happen as it was supposed to. And heaven, er, heaven kind of uh, took the fall and uh, hell's run the show now. Great, great. So does um, War, does he come back with all of his powers or are some of them sort of taken away? Yeah, so uh, as part of his punishment, they stripped away almost all of his powers. And so throughout the game, you're going to be uh, um, trying to regain your old self. Um, you've lost your horse. Uh, you know, a horseman has to have his, his, uh, his steed. That's right. So you're going to end up finding your horse throughout the game and getting those powers back, uh, along with some new weapons that you're going to find in the game, and, uh, and build up your, uh, your arsenal of uh, awesome weapons to take on the ultimate, uh, you know, bad boy of, uh, of demons. Yes, excellent. So uh, what sort of powers can uh, the gamers expect to be able to uh, employ in their battles with the demons and everything? So combat is um, it's pretty slim, seamless between um, your sort of apocalyptic powers, which are things like you can summon up um, a big row of uh, demonic blades up from uh, around you to take people out. That's awesome. Um, you can put on this sort of uh, stone skin, um, and it makes you more powerful and also makes you more difficult to hit. And there's a bunch of other different uh, different abilities. And then also you've got your weapons. So you've got your awesome uh, Chaos Eater sword. Um, you're going to be able to find stuff like Death Scythe, you know, Death the Axe. Uh, horseman, you're going to pick up his scythe, be able to use that. Um, some pretty awesome demonic pistols and other weapons. Uh, so uh, yeah, you're going to you're going to have a lot of uh, variety in combat. All right, just got a couple more questions for you. Do you ever meet God in the game? You do not meet God. Okay. All right, and uh, the last question I have for you is that uh, you guys actually got Mark Hamill to come and voice one of the characters. Correct. Can you tell us how that worked and how you guys got him to come in and do that? So um, Joe is a is a big fan of, uh, of Mark Hamill's work. When he was uh, working on the story, he was actually watching a lot of um, the Batman animated series and loved the Joker voice. Um, and so uh, he really wanted to bring him in to give that sort of evil, demonic twist to um, to the character who's attached to you, um, uh, who's called the Watcher. And basically, he's he's the guy making sure that you stay in line. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing, and if you don't, he's got the power to kill you. Oh, great. Well, Clint, thanks again for uh, stopping by and asking some questions. Appreciate it. All right.